Hi gang, I wanna share with you the three toxic words that I see, I don't use the word damaging, but being harmful or not supportive of creating the relationship that you truly desire to attracting in an incredible relationship and with anything in your life, okay? So these, these three words with anything that you wanna experience. And if you use these three words around it, it's actually blocking you and it's stopping you. So what are the three words? Okay, number one, is wishing. I wish blah, blah, blah. Number one is wish. Number two is try. I'm going to try blah, blah, blah. And number three is I hope. I hope blah, blah, blah. Okay, so here's the thing. Yes, have hope. When I'm talking about these th three words, I'm talking about using them from the space of recognizing that you don't have what it is you actually want. I really wish I would finally meet a great guy. I'm wishing, I hope I one day meet a great guy, right? I'm hoping, or, you know, I'm really trying. To. All of these three words are basically coming from a disempowered state or they usually can come from a disempowered state. I'll give you an example of what an empowered statement would be. I am committed. I am so committed to attracting a wonderful partner versus I'm going to try. I'm going to try to attract a great man because try gives us a back door because if we try, we can still kind of sell out on ourselves, right? Like, oh, I tried versus no, I'm committed to that. With commitment, you are 100% in and you trust yourself to see it all the way through. And commitment can be a little scary because then that means sometimes it takes being uncomfortable. It's this new level of empowerment when we choose to say, I'm committed to this. But when we do that, it's like we can relax inside of that commitment and it feels so free. <laughs> and now wishing, if we wish for something constantly, we're basically saying we don't already have it. We're affirming the fact that we don't already have what it is that we really want. So anytime you're saying like, I'm wishing or I hope, you wanna look and see, do I truly believe and do I truly trust that I can experience what it is that I desire? And when I choose to trust and believe that, how would I act? Who would I be right now? What would I be doing, right? And you wanna operate from that space as if what it is that you want is already present in your life it's already coming to you and you're being and you're preparing and you're the energetic field and space for it to come into your experience i trust that it's happening so who would i be in this moment and knowing that my dream partner is looking for me now who would i be what would i be doing how would i be thinking how would i be feeling it's you're constantly coming back to that over and over and over again and you're operating from an empowered loving beautiful state so coming back to the three words, wishing, hoping, and trying. They're toxic words when they're used from a disempowered state and they can keep what you really want at bay. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. Go ahead and hit subscribe in the notification button so you can get notifications on when we post new videos to support you in your new love life. And you can click the link down below for a free PDF on the three biggest mistakes that I see good hearted single women make and how to avoid them. So go ahead and get your free download and we'll see you in the next video. Mwah!